Well, our dear friend, Sean, he always brings in these really good, different, eclectic, sometimes just really heavy, really cool uh, bands when he puts in his request. Today we are doing a band called Rebellion. And we are doing the song, it's off of a, an album called uh, Sagas of Iceland. And the song is called Ying Laga, what is it? Ying, Ying Laga Saga. Uh, to Odin we call. Ying Linga. Ying Linga Saga to Odin we call. So this is probably going to be some Viking metal kind of a situation going on there. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to learn about the band Rebellion. Then we're going to get into this song for Sean, for our friend, for our pal, bringing in the tasty nugs from time to time. Uh, so Rebellion, they have 34,283 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams. Uh, the, the, the clans are marching. Uh, 2.8 million plays. You got God of Thunder. Is that Kiss? I don't know. 181,000 plays. Arise. Is that a uh, Sepultura cover? I don't know. Uh, 138,541 plays on that. Number four, Liberté, Egalite, Fra Fraternite. 20,000 plays on that. And you've got a song called Sweden. Are they going to be from Sweden? You don't write a song about another country, do you? If you're from Norway, you don't write a song about Sweden. Sweden is a wonderful place that I visit. Uh, 2,000, uh, 208,000 plays on that. Now we're going to look into them albums and see what this band has put out. This will give us kind of an idea when they started, too. Generally, a year to two years after you start a band, you want to release an album. 2002, Shakespeare's Macbeth. Then you got Born a Rebel in 2003. You got the album that we're doing here, Geblap, uh, Sagas of Iceland, 2005. 2006, Milk, Milklagard, um, Arise. So it's probably not going to be a, a, a Sepultura cover because 2009 album, Arise. Then you've got Arminus, Furor, Tutanicus, Tutanicus. Uh, oh boy, it gets worse from here. 2005's Weird Bill for Arraid. Uh, that's 2015. And A Tragedy in Steel Part 2 in 2018. Looks like they have released a brand spanking new album called We Are the People. And it was released in July of 2021. So... There you have that. See, if you didn't, if you did know this band, then I just told you that they uh, uh, put out a new album. If you didn't know this band, then I just told you that they put out a new album. So I'm useful for something, right? Uh, now we look into related artists. Who might they play shows with? Who do people listen to when they listen to this band? You got Storm Warrior, Majesty, Mystic Prophecy we have done here on the first listens, Iron Fire, Astral Doors, you got Wizard, Iron Savior, we have done on the first listens. Grave Digger, we have done a reaction video to them. Persuader, I want to say we have done them, or I've heard a great jam from them. What was it that I heard? Uh, Scars, maybe, or Twisted Eyes? I can't remember. Uh, you got Bloodbound, we've talked about them before. Virgin Steel, we have damn sure done on the first listens. And I want to say uh, this last band here, Savage Circus, we've also done on the first listens. Um, there is no bio for the band, and there is no image. This is where we would have gotten into the bio, but uh, I will find a frosty-looking image of the band. They'll be looking hip. They'll be looking cool. They'll be looking rocking, and they'll say, Shane, get over here so we can give you a big wet-mouth kiss. Or get over here, Shane, and we'll give you a ride in our Viking boat. So now it's that time. Very frothy again once today. So now we're going to go down to the uh, Sagas of Iceland album, and we're going to find Yinglinga Saga. Uh, to Odin we call. This is the magic nipple tit. Takes you into the world. The magic wonderful world. Perhaps on a wooden boat ride. With Viking medalist rebellion. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for it. Yinglinga Saga. To Odin we call. Oh yeah. You're rowing the boat. Choppy seas, dark skies. Oh, I like that snare. It's got a Saxon pop to it.
Rainbow Bridge. Not bad! I like that guitar tone. Asgard? Go and we call. On the wings of death we rise. Let's just, that's just kind of a triumphant uh, foot stomper, right? They haven't done a lot of rip changes or anything, it's just riding. Everyone wants to fight in the name of Odin, don't they? He's a, he's a good one to fight for. He's got a different voice, but I like it. There's something about his, his timber that I like in his vocal. Yeah, it's just one of them. Put it in the pocket and rock it. I'd definitely be curious to listen to the rest of this album and some of their newer stuff. That bass. Yeah, it's just got, it's just a solid, oh, let's ride this.
wings of death we rise. This is one of them audience participation songs. And the gods are on our side. Yeah, it's one of those repetitious kind of. This is a this is a, a crowd pleaser. Uh, uh, you get everyone in unison. <laughs> Ooh, this one's got an upbeat. The Sons of the Dragon Slayer. Ooh, yeah, they got some piss and vinegar in them too. I need to check the rest of that out. Yeah, that song right there, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I don't have the proper word and termage for it, but it's one of them where when you're at the concert and they bust into it, they can just ride that sucker and get the audience going, hold on. And you, you know, have you ever seen them do the, the Viking boat rowing where they get down and they actually row boat instead of mosh? It's kind of the rowboat moshing or whatever. They get down on the dirty ground with gum and pee and, and dirty feet and everything. And then they pretend, they all in unison pretend like they're rowing a big Viking ship. This is one of them jams to do that. But what say you? Most important part of my videos, as always, is your thoughts and opinions and comments on it. Your memories of this band and... Uh, Everything you can feed me about this band. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I'm a huge fan of Rebellion. I'm about, about to tell you why. What was it like the very first time you ever heard a Rebellion song? Was it magical? Have you ever seen Rebellion live? Um, what are your top, uh, what's your favorite album of all time from the band? And have you heard the brand spank a new album? What did you think of that? And give me your top five of your favorite jams from this band. Do they have official videos that we can take a look at? Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, it's, uh, it was Viking uh, metal for sure, to be sure. Uh, it's just not my cup of tea. The power metalish kind of stuff is just not for me. Uh, these guys rock real tight and right, but uh, it was just not good for me. No, uh, not my cup of tea. I don't want it. Goodbye, bye. All of that can be put in the comments below, my dear, wonderful, fine folks. If you have a hard rock or a heavy metal special request and you buy, damn it, I need to see this on the channel. Easy process. Click that link, one of those links in the description below. If it's hard rock, heavy metal, we will get it on for you in your honor with thumbsies up to you. Or you can always put it in the comments below and we will get to it if we ever get to it. Cross your fingers, put your comment and, and see and hope for the best is what I would always say. Uh, Sean, there's your thumbsies. Look at that. There they are. Uh, great, fantastic job. I love it when he brings stuff to the table and 99.9% and, and .9 of the time it's something that I've never heard before. Uh, he, he turned me on to Paladin. Fantastic thrash band. I never knew they existed until he brought them to my attention. That's all I got. I'm swinging it for kisses and I'm loving you so much. To Odin we call Rebellion. <laughs>